He's been called an executioner and a butcher. As the regime's head of intelligence, Abdullah al sanusi was the last significant member of Muammar Gaddafi's inner circle still on the run. And now he's been caught. Sanusi was on an early morning flight from Casablanca in Morocco to Nouakchott Airport in Mauritania, travelling on a fake Malian passport with his son. Airport security in Mauritania has detained him, but the Libyan government wants him back. Uh, Mikli, we are going to make a formal uh, request to hand him out to, uh, because he needs to stand uh, uh, in a trial in Libya, uh, so because he committed all these crimes against the Libyan people. Sanusi was instrumental in Gaddafi's campaign to try and quash last year's revolution. He led fighters in Benghazi and is accused of ordering the killing of civilians. It's also believed Sanusi was behind a mass killing here at Abu Salim prison in 1996. 1,200 political prisoners were killed. This man was in the same jail at the time and says he heard the shooting go on for three hours. It's a tremendous relief. It's one thing for a group to be responsible for the death of a son, brother or friend. It's a whole other thing to know that it was a specific person that killed them. So Gaddafi's capture was one thing, but Sanusi being arrested, that's a whole other thing. France also wants Sanusi and has called for his extradition. It has sentenced him in absentia for his role in the bombing of a French airliner over Nigeria that killed 170 people more than 20 years ago. For now, it's unclear what Mauritania will do with Abdullah Sanusi. If he's extradited to Libya, he may face trial alongside Gaddafi's son, Saif al-Islam. It's very important, it's very significant, uh, because clearly this person, while he was out and free, uh, he's trying to um, uh, destabilize the country. I mean, clearly this guy, he stole a lot of money from our people. A lot of Libyans believe Sanusi was the mastermind of many of the alleged atrocities carried out during Gaddafi's rule. So there'll be a great deal of relief about his capture. But many people will be wondering exactly when and where Sanusi will face justice. Nicole Johnston, Al Jazeera, Tripoli.